Good morning, evening, or afternoon, whichever one's going on for you at this current point in time. And good news for those of you who are already on the rigid ecosystem, as I am, because the Lifetime Service Agreement, or the LSA, has been upgraded to include the Service Direct Program. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's good news, so let me explain for those of you who don't. Maybe you're a plumber or somebody who's doing some framing, just sawing through something all day, circular saws, impact drivers, drills, that kind of stuff. Maybe you happen to be a mechanic and you need a cordless ratchet or some serious impact. Or maybe you happen to be the average Joe Schmo or Mary Sue who needs a tire inflator in the back of your truck, band, car, whatever you got, so that you're not waiting for AAA or roadside whenever something goes wrong with a tire. Or maybe you're just playing basketball at the park, you need to add a little air to your balls, there are also attachments, so you just want your tools covered in any event that they don't work, and that's what the LSA is for. If you're shopping smart during promotional events or if you're just buying in kits, you are gonna get chargers with pretty much everything, and with that, typically, you're gonna amass a bunch of batteries. When you do, please, I urge you, unless you're this super big macho man who thinks you don't need any kind of protection from your gear, sign up for the actual program, please. Between 2020 and now, people have been very confused sometimes with some of their tools, whether or not they're actually covered by the LSA, and all you have to know is it'll say it on the box. By the way, brushless stuff, especially in the newer subcompact stuff, is absolutely going to be covered, but the box will let you know. Lifetime. Right there. Service agreement. If it doesn't have that on the box, chances are it probably won't be covered. You could call customer service and just ask anyways, but they're very clear on this stuff. Their website will say handheld power tools, tabletop this, bench top that, etc. They'll let you know exactly what's covered and what isn't. If you look at the actual box at the bottom of this specific tool, it says three year warranty right there. So people are like, wait a minute, is it three year warranty or is it a lifetime warranty? First of all, it's not a lifetime warranty, it's a service agreement. That is something they agree to, something you agree to. A warranty, people get in their mind, hey, I can do whatever I want to my tool, hit it with a car, go swimming with it, take a shower with it because it's under warranty. Anything happens to it, I'll get a new one. That is not the case. A lifetime service agreement is an agreement. Both people say, based off of parameters, we will cover this, we will not cover this. The three-year warranty is what you get first, and then it becomes the LSA after that three-year period has worn out. Now, before I actually show you how to register your tools for the Rigid LSA, for those of you who don't know, I'm gonna show you what Rigid Service Direct even is. What are the benefits, what's new, what's changed? And they announced it about seven days ago on their YouTube channel, so what's changed? So the Service Direct program has added only a few changes, but they are pretty big. Specifically, if you look at the list, just without reading them, you can see 14 twice. And they really want to emphasize on the fact that you get your tools back within 14 days of actually sending the tool out. And that means you get back to work as quickly as you can. Now, it might not be a big deal if you're only sending in, you know, a drill or an impact driver because most people might have more than one. But when you have those specialty tools, you'll notice how quickly you miss them when they're not on the shelf. Registering your tools and batteries and submitting a claim for them, those are pretty straightforward. You could have made that one bullet, but that fourth bullet is where we really have the magic. First of all, the fact that we no longer have to pay for sending or returning our tools to us or batteries or chargers or anything else that is covered under their warranty is awesome. Psst. Hey, uh... You tell them the truth about the, uh, the whole service center thing? If you don't live near one, then you're going to experience longer wait times for your tool to be returned. Otherwise, you could potentially have one near you and you could bring it in that way. Or you could potentially call some random shop that's certified through Rigid. And if you call after 9 o'clock, they might say like, Yo, hey, yo uh, you, you can't be calling here after this time. Uh, we're going to have a problem. Let's try not getting murdered, shall we? Will there still be service centers? Yes. However, the whole point of the direct program is to send your tools to Rigid, have factory trained personnel from Rigid fix or replace your tools and send them back to you. 
That's the convenience, that's the luxury, and that's why this program is so important compared to possibly having your tool or your equipment mislabeled and sent to somebody else, potentially damaged or just lost. Here, we're at the Rigid homepage. Super simple, if you already have an account, fantastic, and maybe you're just looking to register tools that you recently purchased, or maybe you don't have an account at all. Either way, check this out. When you click in the top right corner, sign in, if you haven't already done so, you'll be able to create an account, put in all the information as it is coming up on screen, and at the bottom for the four check boxes, you don't have to subscribe to anything, so you can skip the first two boxes and only check the second two, hit submit, and we can move on. This is what the home screen looks like once you've logged in. If you don't have a list, it's because you obviously don't have any tools yet, but at the bottom of the list, you should see the ability to register your tool. But if you don't have any, it should be in the top right. When you go to toolbox, it will say register tool or registered tools if you wanna see the ones you've done already. Once you get to the register product page, you're either gonna put in the information for a new purchase or you are going to re apply for a new agreement with the returned tool that was replaced after the original one couldn't be repaired. Assuming most people buy their stuff from Home Depot, send that copy of the receipt. You can upload that to Rigid. Till this day, people are still upset about the whole Octane situation and how Rigid ended that Octane line. No more Bluetooth batteries, whatever. As for the subcompact people, some people say, oh my God, I love it, it's so comfortable. Other people say it's not as strong as the Octane line. Rigid is finding its balance. Again, Rigid has been around forever and they still have a long way to go, but considering everything that has been changed and has been improved on, they're focusing right now, as far as I can tell, on more ergonomics, right? A tool can be as powerful as it needs to be. However, if it sucks to hold or if it's too heavy or if it can't get itself into the right spot, it's ultimately useless and you're gonna end up picking up a different tool anyways. So eventually with time, I'm sure they'll work out the bugs and find a good balance between ergonomics and power. But until then, we shall see. I'm hopeful. So let me know what you think. Are you team Rigid, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Ryobi? Are you a Harbor Freight person? I won't tell anyone. Yes, it's Pittsburgh. Don't judge me. Harbor Freight's got some good stuff. Shut up. And until next time, work smart.